Why do you retire oh, listening to play a Valorant play tournament? There's an aspect of pro play that's really fun, but at the same time, it's also... <sighs> How do you explain this? There's also a lot of times where it's just truly not fun. Um, and I think there was way more not fun moments than there was fun. And for me personally, as like a job, as a job, content, okay, first off, okay, I'll, I'll say it. Content creators make infinitely way more, way, way more money than pro players for sure. Especially like content creators that are like, if you have like a super high like um, reach within the content creator space, trust me, you make way more, you make way more. So me going away from pro play into content creation space, the only way that I would stay as a pro player is if I actually enjoyed it so much to the point that like, I wouldn't want to trade it for anything else. But because there is more unenjoyable moments than there is enjoyable moments, for that reason, it's kind of like a no-brainer, right? It's kind of like, I, I, I don't know. There, there was definitely a lot more days when I was playing pro that either I was just like super stressed out or um, I was like kind of burnt out or just like something like that. And um, since, like honestly, since I've retired, every day has been a good day. But the sun has been shining a little bit brighter every day. Uh, I, I, I'm actually like truly, really happy most of the days, which I couldn't say the same for when I was playing. I mean, like not only is pro stressful, but like pro, if you if you dedicate your life to pro, your life is a life of a pro player, right? You have to put in all of your time and you can't have an outside life other than being like a pro player for the time that you're playing. It just, it's just so, it's so much time out of your day. But still, is winning an event still stays the best feeling ever? It's a, it's a really good feeling. Don't get me wrong. It, I, I also think it depends on the person. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll quickly turn it down just because uh, I'll just be like ra rambling and stuff. Um, so I think I think one of the struggles of a pro player as well is once you win, you you have to like really stay motivated to consistently keep winning because uh, it, it's it's like a weird feeling, right? So like. Let's say you make a goal in your mind. Once you obtain that goal, the question is like, what's next? And I think it depends on the person of like what you're trying to obtain. Um, so I guess like maybe like a player like Faker, like I bet Faker just fucking loves just shitting on everyone. So like he just wants to like keep building the accolades and like the, the trophies and stuff and just stacking them up. But um like maybe speaking from experience it, it is also it, it's weird because you'll win and then you start off again and it's just like oh shit like now i'm chasing the same goal that i already obtained like if you look at it from a goal standpoint it, it um it can kind of get repetitious but if you're looking at it from a standpoint of like building a legacy then i could see it in a way of like okay but also i kind of saw Valorant in a way that it's really hard to build a legacy and honestly every single year I think it's gonna be a new team that wins uh it, it's just like it's just the way the game is it's the nature of the game I think Valorant is like a very dynamic and very like also random at times game and for that reason you're not gonna see like a multi-year dynasty like how you saw like I come from CS so I'll say like Astralis in CS. I honestly doubt that that's ever going to happen in Valorant. Um, and it's just because you can't always be adaptable to every single meta. It's near impossible. Um, the map pool changes so often. There's going to be map pools that like 
your team is not going to vibe with and there's gonna be map pools your team vi does vibe with um and so with the way that the game changes it unless you just have the most five flexible players that are constantly in like honeymoon phase it will not happen and also with the lack of tournaments you burn out faster because you're practicing more um i think what like well, like what i said the the fun part about playing pro is playing tournaments yes playing online is an unbel unbelievable experience and the feeling that you get especially when you win each match if you're able to lift a trophy it is on it, it is truly remarkable but to get there practicing every single day and like maybe in like na's case any teams are practicing against like nh franchise teams are practicing against tier two tier three teams right now because the tier two team or tier two scene is bad essentially it can feel kind of aimless at times when you're practicing that much and it can get kind of depressing <laughs>